to brand new developments in the Devante Sanford case. He is the Detroit man wrongfully convicted of murder and sent to prison for years. Yesterday, we reported that Wayne County prosecutor Kim Worthy is not charging a former Detroit police official for his role in Devante's arrest. She claims it's because Devante refuses to testify. Paula Tutman spoke with Devante this afternoon and Paula, he says that is not the case. You know what's so interesting about this is there's so much legal, he said, she said, it would take forever to get to it, Karen, but it really only takes a moment to see and hear the pain and frustration in a young man who believes he's being held to a different standard than the law. I think the main reason why she didn't want to charge Tobert is because you got you to think about it. If he lied on my case, how many other cases he didn't lie on, you know, um, and... I don't think she really want to deal with that. And that's the crux of Devante's anger today, that he's been unfairly represented by the Wayne County prosecutor, Kim Worthy. Yesterday, the prosecutor laid out her case for not bringing perjury charges against former DPD Deputy Chief James Talbert. In her press release, the prosecutor says there wasn't enough evidence to send a perjury case to trial, partly because Devante would not testify. But today, he says that's not the case at all. And, and I told him once the charges dropped, I'll be willing to testify. You know, she know this. It's just she don't want to charge him because if she was to charge him, she's scared of what he might say and who he might, like, um, point fingers at. Today, Devante sat down with us and explained how hurtful it is that the prosecutor's office won't just say, sorry, we made a mistake. We'll drop the charges, oh, and make this right as best we can by holding others accountable. I was hurt. Like, um... Yeah, I was, I was hurt. Every time I turn around, like, I'm the one being attacked when I'm the one that was victimized. I'm the one that was sent to prison for a crime I didn't commit. I was holding on to that maybe. Yeah. Like, just like maybe, maybe she'll do the right thing this time. What if I was your son? You know, what if, what if, like, what if you was me? When, when you want, like, justice? When you want to see people who manipulated you and face whatever consequences they should be facing. Like, wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you want justice? You know? Yo, her whole platform is about bringing justice for victims and victim families. So, like, bring it. I, I think I deserve that after eight years. You know, I made numerous attempts to get the prosecutor's office to respond to exactly what Devante was saying today. And on all times, I was told, or I was rather referred to, go back to yesterday's news release, Karen. In other words, no new responses other than what they said in that news release. Stay with us. My team and I are working on another report for 6 o'clock. The whole thing in question is that diagram that was drawn when Devante was being questioned. He actually takes us step by step through what was said and what happened that night. We'll see you at 6, Karen. All right, we look forward to that report. Thank you, Paula.